are very important properties of real number when it comes to absolute value which is actually used this property is used a lot uh, many where in many places so triangle inequality or triangular inequality which says that if you have two if you have two real numbers a and b then absolute value of a plus b will always be less than or equal to the sum of individual absolute values for any real number for any a and b belonging to the set of real number r okay now basically what we are trying to say is if you look at uh, from vectors point of view what we are trying to say is you have a vector a out here and then you have a vector b in this direction and this will be essentially your a plus b okay so the distance this distance will always be less than or equal to the sum of this distance okay so that's what this property is talking about now we'll try to prove it mathematically using our knowledge of real numbers so let's try to prove it proof now let's use the definition of max here okay let's use the definition of max so now max max can be defined like this so absolute value a plus b absolute value is equal to max of max of the positive and negative so max of a plus b and minus a minus b right so that's the definition of max that's the definition of max that's the definition of max so let's look at it let's look at it now so what do we need to prove what we need to prove so we need to prove we need to prove that max max a plus b minus a minus b is actually less than or equal to mod a or absolute value a plus absolute value b the individual absolute value sum so that means that it is sufficient for us to prove so this implies what we can prove sufficient to prove what will suffice to prove if i could prove this part is less than or equal to this this part is less than or equal to this that would mean that the max of these two will also be less than or equal to this so sufficient to prove would be that a plus b is less than or equal to mod a plus mod b i have a bad habit of calling it mod or absolute value is the same thing minus a minus b is less than or equal to absolute value a plus absolute value b okay now a is less than or equal to absolute value of a right this is a property in fact the fourth property that we have seen a is always less than or equal to the absolute value and also b is less than or equal to the absolute value of b so these two things these two things will give me i can add them up so this would mean that the lhs is still less than or equal to the added rhs right so by adding that's what we get so by adding this is what we get by adding we get this okay now minus a is less than or equal to the modulus or the absolute value of minus a similarly minus b will be less than or equal to the absolute value minus 
b and again by adding again by adding i will get minus a minus b is less than or equal to absolute value minus a plus absolute value minus b okay so now by adding that's by adding what will i get by adding i will get this now now comes the important part that if this thing is less than or equal to the absolute value of minus a plus absolute value of minus b it's the same as talking about absolute value of a plus absolute value of b okay so minus a minus b is also less than or equal to min uh, less than or equal to absolute value of a plus absolute value of b it's the same thing as this minus so hence in in all the cases hence we have proved what is sufficient for us so both the cases so max of a plus b minus a minus b is less than or equal to mod a plus mod b okay so hence we have proved it now you can also generalize this triangle inequality with a lot of a lot of um, real numbers so we can generalize with a lot of real numbers okay so what we can do is we can use induction and see that you can use induction and see that we can use you know for n equals to 1 what happens for it it will be essentially a1 is less than or equal to so which is true so what what this will be in in your view when we i am generalizing so what this will be in your view essentially what we are trying to say is that if you add n number of real numbers say a1 a2 till a n and the absolute value of that would be less than or equal to the individual sum of absolute values that's what we mean okay so I can easily use induction and try to prove it and hence I, I've done it for n equals to 1 similarly n equals to 2 and so on and so forth so while I'm using induction so what we can suppose is that now suppose for n suppose this holds holds true for n okay and then we need to prove to prove for n plus 1 that's what we have to do so what do we have to prove we have to prove that a1 plus a2 so on and so forth plus a n plus a n plus 1 modulus or absolute value is less than or equal to the sum of individuals till a n plus 1 okay now hypothesis now 1 and 2 so you can just see 1 and 2 would actually imply imply that this holds for any n 1 and 2 will imply because in 1 I have we are we have just proved for one real number and if we add that one real number to n real numbers for which we have supposed that this inequality holds then by adding one and two you will get that it holds it holds for n natural numbers so this holds true for n natural numbers.